Welcome back. In this week's About Your Retirement, a viewer says, Jim, last week you had a viewer that was planning to move in with her father, or move her father into her home, actually. You very wisely suggested that she have uh, a family meeting with her siblings. We were faced with this situation two years ago and did not meet. I would like to request that you impress on everyone facing this to take it very seriously. We did not, and it did not turn out like we had thought for our mom's needs, her real needs, and what we were able to do to care for her. Jim, good question. Yes, it's a great question, and many people are faced with this, and I fear that they don't take it as serious because on the surface, we think about the fact, well, well you know, my mom cared for me when I was growing up, and on my, my turn to, to help her or to help him, my dad, whatever. But what we want to uh, impress on everybody is the fact, and what this viewer is saying is it did not go well for them. And it's because of certain realities. This is a major step when you want to care for a loved one in your home. And I'm talking about an adult aged loved one in your home. Even though you have great intentions, that's, that's wonderful because we love our parents. But on the other hand, some very important realities. These aren't considerations, these are realities. And there's three that I want to impress on everybody today. The first one is the loved one's health. health. And when you are evaluating doing this, if they have declining health, if they have some health issues, in my opinion, that is not when you want to move someone in with you. That's when I think you need to start seeking uh, uh, different options, different alternatives, uh, if their health is declining. And so the second reality is the caregiver's health, and that's your health. And I cannot tell you how many times I have seen people, especially spouses, that felt obligated to care for their spouse, and their health declines at a very rapid rate. And what you've got to remember in those options is like at assisted living, communities. Well, like at Wellington Park, we have uh, certified nurse aides. They work a 12-hour shift and they go home. Mm. You're obligating yourself to a 24-7 obligation and making sure they get their meds on time the way they're prescribed. The other part is to make sure if you insist on doing this, you have a lot of family assistance. You have other family that can come in and be caregivers with you so that you have those breaks. Uh, dad or mom are going to need breaks from you just like you will need breaks from them. And so you need people to come and take them out and to doctor's appointments and to different things so that everybody has those breaks. But it's very serious. It's something that you really need to research and talk to other people. I have not ran across too many people that have made this a successful transition. Yeah, an important conversation. Yes, it is. Sure. Hey, don't forget you can get more retirement advice on Jim's other show. Watch Baby Boomers in Action every weekend on News 9 and News 9 Plus. And for more information, visit news9.com slash retirement.